Welcome back to another episode of the Casey Campbell podcast on YouTube. Casey Campbell with you, of course. Pleased to be joined by the head baseball coach at Purdue, Greg Goff, of course. So you've, he's been on this channel before. How's it going, Greg? Man, it's going great, Casey. Good to be with you today and uh, excited for the spring coming around. All right. So let's talk about, I know you. we were just talking about, you know, with all the weather going on right now, uh, not as bad as what the Carolinas have had to deal with the last few days. But right. w- let's talk about what you've kind of done. I know you've gotten a chance to go outside and, and play a little bit. Where, where are we at in terms of that? How's it? How's it been going so far? Man, it's been going great, Casey. I tell you, I've been very pleased with our players. Um, they came back in really good shape. So, as you know, when, when players come back in good shape, it, it keeps you from having to worry about getting them back in shape and wasting that time doing that. So we've hit the ground running. Uh, we've had a great couple of weeks so far. And, um, you know, just like yesterday, we were outside for, you know, for an hour or so. Um, you know, so we, we, we feel re- really good at this point. Um, with the weather, you know, it's kind of crazy where the south and, and kind of the east coast have been getting hammered pretty good. We've been kind of fortunate enough to, to miss most of that snow. And uh, when the temperature is is above uh, the Big Ten rule, then we try to get outside. I think it's 35, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So let's uh, let's talk about your team this year. I know it's going to be back on a more normal type schedule. You're going to start off your season down in Texas. Uh, yep. But what what is the season going to be like having not to, you know, not worry about all that? Yes, it's still out there, but right. Not not as like drastic as some of the protocols have been in the past. Correct. We're, and we're so thankful for that. We're so thankful for our administration and the support they've given our players. Um, you know, we got through last year with what it was. And so we're glad that the Big Ten is, is you know, allowing us to, to have a normal season where, you know, you play the 56-game schedule, you go on the road the first four weeks and and play, and then get ready for conference play. So, Casey, we're, we're really excited about that and very thankful. Uh, you know, you're still going to have to deal with some kids being out when, when they get COVID and stuff like that. But I just try to preach to them every day, like, hey, we got to overcome it. Uh, we're going to be missing some players here and there. Um, but we got to be very diligent and, and, you know, making sure that, you know, we're not out and about and we're not in big crowds and, and things like that where you can get that stuff. So, you know, just know that it's out there. It's prevalent. Um, and, uh, you know, we just got to do a good job of guarding ourselves and doing the best that we can uh, with our players. So let's talk about the team that you got coming back. Um, talk about some of the guys that impressed you so far. Some of the names um, that, that I know, but maybe people might not know. Sure. Well, you know, we, we have, you know, the majority of our team returning from last year, which is a good thing. I think whenever you're successful in college baseball, um, you're an older team. So, um, you know, around the horn with Jake Parr uh, at first base and Tyler Powers at second and Evan Albrecht at short and Ron Howe at third, we've got some, some veteran players that's played a bunch that, that are there. Um, and then we also brought in a bunch of junior college and some transfer players. And so, C.J. Valdez is a young man out of Arizona that was a, um, you know, All-American um, that could play the infield. Um, you know, we've got Paul Tates that transferred in from IU that was, you know, he led the led the conference in um, in doubles and was a free freshman All-American. Um, he's in the infield. We got Troy Vidal. He's a great transfer. That's just an outstanding young man that uh, that has uh, can play third for us. So. You know, we have we 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 got a good nucleus of returning players, but also we felt like we needed to. It's time to get over the hump. It's time for our program to to start easing up to the top of the Big Ten. And so, uh, bringing in those new guys along with the guys that we got, man, we're really excited about it, Casey. Where do you think? Uh, where do you think the Big Ten is at in terms of baseball? I tell you, I, I to be honest with you, um, I thought last year was probably the best I had ever seen it. The teams were really, really good. Uh, I think if we had had a normal season, if we had played a normal 56 games, um, I think we would probably have had four, probably five teams into a regional, to be honest with you. Um, I just felt like the the guys and the, the coaches in the league would, did a really good job. You know, the league returned a lot of really good players because the draft had been shortened so much. And then I thought they went out and got some really good players. So, um, you know, I thought last year from top to bottom, it was as good as it's been since I've been here, and I wouldn't expect anything less um, as we move forward. I think there's some outstanding coaches in the Big Ten, and, um, you know, 
you just see the continuing uh, of, of the com competition and, and what we're doing in, in the Big Ten. So I, I know that let's talk about the pitching staff for a second. Where are we at in terms of that? Where are, who are some arms to look out for this year? Yeah, well, you know, we returned Calvin Shapiro. He was a weekend rotation guy for us last year. Um, so he, he's definitely got him and Jackson Smeltz, you know, are two guys that, um, you know, you'll see a lot. They'll probably be on the weekend rotation, you know, as we start in Texas, probably. Um, you know, we have a young man named Wyatt Wendell is a junior college transfer from Indian Hills Junior College, uh, led his team to the World Series last year. He's a weekend kind of guy for us. Um, we've got some good young guys too, Casey. We've got a young man uh, from right down the road. Cal Stevens is a guy that uh, we've been really impressed with so far. Uh, Troy Wansing is a young man from Kansas City. That's another freshman um, that we feel like we, we, we really, really like those guys. They'll throw a bunch for us, I think. And so, you know, then we got a lot of middle relievers and stuff. Eric Hildebrand, Landon Wines, all those kind of guys. Nolan Daniel, those guys that are returning that uh, should have some prominent roles as, as we go through a game and try that, you know, that fifth through the, the eighth inning. And then we're going to try to turn it over to somebody and close it out. Um, I know that also, you know, getting, I know that, you know, having, you know, having parents back and having all those, having all your loyal fans back in there. I know you got, I don't know if you got a chance to have fans back after when it was announced, because I think it was later on in the year. Maybe. Right. But um yeah, to have you kicked off the season when we get to March, April, that's uh, it's gonna be good to see the ballpark filled up again. It really is, and then we were fortunate last year; they allowed uh, fans to come in. Um, now it wasn't you know full capacity, but uh, you know we, you know, Casey. The great thing about the fans here, they love the Boilermakers. I mean, we we sold out every home game last year um, with a capacity that they allowed us to have. So we're excited to have it all filled this year. It's been great to go to a football game or a basketball game. Um, this fall and winter and, and so we're excited and hopefully we can you know fill up Alexander Field this spring yeah so I mean when you look at when you look at where your team is at right now what's some, some of the biggest things that you got to work on what do you got to do to get to where you want to go well you know we, we brought in some athleticism uh, we're going to better do a lot more offensively I think um, you know we just in the last year or so we just haven't been able to hit the ball over the fence like we I wanted to we haven't had the athleticism that we needed to have to generate offense. And so, um, you know, I feel like we, we did that. Curtis Washington is a young man that's transferred in here that's going to be hitting the top of the order. Michael Bolton is going to be a returner. He was an all-conference player for us last year. Um, he's going to be in the outfield. He'll lead all for us every day, Case. You'll love him, man. He can run. He can do some things. And we're really hoping those two guys at the top of the order is going to give us a chance to, to really be offensive this year. And then, you know, you throw in Tate and Valdez and Viola. Uh, Cam Thompson's another guy that, you know, played for us quite a bit that uh, returns. Jake Parr is going to be in there. Steve Ramirez is a, is a catcher that we uh, have returned to him and Jake Stadler. Um, and then we brought in a, a, an All-American from, from Heinz Junior College out of Mississippi named Pablo um, that will, you know, be in there. So we're, I'll tell you, man, I, I've been so excited. I got it. I write it down. I write my lineups every night. Yeah. Um, it's, you know, we, we'll have a lot of different options. And um, as you know, especially with the COVID and stuff, you better make sure they're ready to rock and roll. Oh, yeah. Um, where are we at in terms of, you know, I know that there were the rosters were jam-packed last year. Where are we at this year in terms of numbers? Well, you know, this year um, the NCAA is allowing us to have 40 on the roster again. Um, the Big Ten is going to allow us to travel 32 you know, on a conference weekend. So, you know, it's still, you know, we're right at 40. We got 40 players um, this year, just like, you know, uh, I guess Norm, Norm is 35. So, um, you know, we're at 40 and, uh, you know, we're excited about it, to be honest with you. So the rosters are, you know, it's going to continue until we get through this phase um, with the COVID and, and, and those guys getting that extra year. You know, we're still going to be in that phase for the next two years, I think. But, you know, starting to calm down a lot and, you um, you know, we're in a good place where we are right now, Purdue. Let's talk about, like, you know, traveling the game. Because, um, as you know, you, baseball doesn't have – baseball and softball and other sports don't have, you know, the, char the chartered flights. And, obviously, as you know, with all the cancellations of airlines over time, is, is that concerning to you? Have you talked about that with anybody? You know, it is. Um, anytime you, you get on a commercial plane and 
um, having to, you know, travel with your team. You know, we have a party of about 40, 45. Um, you know, you're, you know, you're getting on planes and you're getting through airports. That's always going to be a concern. So, um, you know, there was one trip we decided to take sleeper buses on just because, you know, we're trying to avoid the air, airplane um, as much as possible. So there's a couple of flights, I think, but we've tried to minimize that, Casey, as much as we could. Uh, we do go the first, I think the first two weekends, we, I think we fly. But other than that, I think we're going to bus and, and just try to, you know, do it that way, just to try to stay away from as many airports as we can. Yeah, the first two weeks, of course, you're going to, down to Texas and all that. So, yeah. Uh, yeah. Then, you know, and then the big, the thing is with the Big Ten, you guys are really positioned well um, in, in the map in Indiana. Because the thing is, you can go yeah. to Minnesota, not far away from Michigan, not far away yeah. from you know from ohio i mean right i mean i don't know if you have to go to maryland new jersey or or penn state right um, right but, but yeah no, we are okay yeah we are we're in a good spot i mean most of our you know most of our conference is um i think is, is all bus this year you know and the one the one that we're going to take some slipper buses on instead of go to the, on the airport is penn state you know just because it's a little tougher to get to and um again i think the more we can try to avoid getting out of those you know getting in the get out of those airports and stuff i think the better all right well greg goff thank you so much for coming on and talking about the season well let's have you on again sometime and we'll talk to you throughout the year awesome casey it's been an honor i really appreciate what you do for for big 10 baseball and and just a opportunity look forward to hopefully having you down sometime here at alexander and uh, if we can do it again we'd love to do it